Hi Virgo! Welcome to September 2016 and happy birthday! You are graduating. You are on your last eclipse. There is a Virgo new moon solar eclipse on September 1st and it is the last eclipse. Next year the eclipses move into Leo and Aquarius. So you are graduating and this is good news. And this month may be the most powerful month of the year because of these eclipses. So it's really important. I know, you know, if you just read the comments on the uh, YouTube uh, and what, what uh, so many of you are feeding back, you know, is it's been a really challenging time for many of you. And this too shall pass. It's important to remember that we live cycles within cycles and we go through tough times. My Mercury is in Virgo, my Pluto is in Virgo, and they sit right next to my 29 degree Leo Sun in my first house. And so I know these energies and I've been through the Neptune, I've been through the Saturn, and I understand how challenging they can be. There's always an important message that we are learning from these experiences that's not always enjoyable however it is valuable for you it is about letting go of the self-criticism so it's really important that you are not judging yourself or criticizing yourself and remind yourself I'm doing the best I can with what I know and when I know better I do better but if I don't know better I can't do better and so you're always doing the best you can with what you have. And so this is a time to let go of self-criticism. Instead, do self-appreciation. What are the things you appreciate about yourself? You're adaptable. You're strong. You're a fighter. You're not giving up. You're not going anywhere. You're going to keep on keeping on one foot in front of the other because you know better days are coming you know better opportunities are coming you know that whatever's leaving your life at this time you don't need it and mercury is a major player here this month mercury's got a lot of muscle and he is the only planet that can travel all realms. He's the only planet that can talk to all of the gods. He is the only planet that can travel to the unconscious, hell, to the uh, subconscious, to the conscious mind, to the higher conscious, heaven world. And he is incredibly active this month. He is your ruling planet. And you have an eclipse happening on the 1st. So as you go into September, it's going to be intense. Neptune is opposing that eclipse. Saturn is squaring it. So you've got a T-square with the Neptune and the Saturn. And it's really important that you are, you know, not taking things personal, that you're practicing detachment and you know, because this, this can bring about lies, deception, betrayals, and loss. So it is time for you to really look at what's in your life, what's serving you, who's in your life, and what are you really receiving from the relationship. If you're always doing all the work, if you're doing all the giving, then you're not receiving. And maybe that's time for you to shift and be more of a receiver. So when you're, when you're comfortable with receiving from others, then you're going to attract givers. So this is about you learning to receive so that you attract givers. Not takers or other receivers, but givers. People that are generous. So this is about you creating a new foundation for better people to come into your life. Generous people to love you and be there for you and support you and be aware of those that are not on your team those that are really not for you um, that are only here to use take take whatever they can take 
And that's the test, you see, because the Neptune is in that area of relationships opposing this new moon in Virgo being squared by Saturn, and that sets up the uh, challenge of seeing clearly and really trust your in intuition, trust your instincts, because, you know, Neptune is lies and deception when it challenges like this. But it can even be lies and deception when it's trining and sextiling, because Neptune is all about higher realms of consciousness. And when it's in a challenging position like this, it can create um, loss and deception and betrayal, themes of betrayal. And so this is important that you are setting boundaries with those that are not really for you or with you and letting go of what no longer serves you. And so this is really important that you're evaluating this and looking at how you give your power away, how you are allowing others to run over your boundaries, get in your space, take from you, use you, abuse you in any way. It is time for you to reclaim your power, reclaim your life, replace self-sacrifice with self-love self-appreciation, self-value, replace service with taking care of others. Virgo rules service to the world. But if you're not serving you, you got nothing to offer. So it's all about you loving you more than the need to serve others. Fill in your cup first so that you've got energy before you give to others. This is about you changing your priorities so that you are number one. Without you, we have no conversation. Without you, there's nothing to talk about. Without you, nothing else matters. The others don't matter. You are the sun center of your universe. You are the authority of your life. No one has the authority over you unless you give it to them. No one can betray you unless you let them. Now, there are times we do it, we don't know it, right? I can get so busy, I don't even see what's right in front of me. So maybe it's time to slow down and take a look at what's really going on so that you can use this energy to create the life you truly desire and deserve. You deserve happiness, joy, love, prosperity, abundance, success. Whatever your heart is desiring, you deserve it. And so this is a really intense month. I think it's the most intense month of the year. And it has the final eclipses of the year. So the Pisces full moon eclipse on the 16th, that's no cakewalk either because Chiron is right with the moon. Chiron is pain. Any way you want to shape it, ship it, sh you know, shift it, you know, you, you know, it doesn't matter. It's Chiron. And Chiron flushes up pain. If you know the story of Chiron, his history. Um, you understand why Chiron is pain and he's coupled with the Pisces moon in the area of relationships for you, other people, and it's opposing the sun in uh, Virgo and Mercury is still retrograde. The last final square between Saturn and Neptune takes place on September 10th and this has been going on all year and this has not been a good energy I think it's more challenging than the Pluto-Uranus energy in some ways. Um, and this is the final pass. Saturn is flying forward now. And so when this pain comes up for you, if it comes up for you, love you. It's all about loving you and taking care of you and healing yourself. So there may be a relationship that's not working for you or maybe... Uh, a memory of a relationship from the past that hurt you, let it go, release, let go, love you more, do nice things for you, take good care of you, be there for you. And really look at where you're giving your power away. And you can do that by uh, looking at what drains you, what makes you tired, what takes your energy. That is really important for you right now. It's all about you this month. 
the focus is in Virgo. Mercury is muscle and he's moving and he's stirring the pot with all of us. He's got all these planets. He's talking to everybody and he is invoking this pain with Chiron because he's, he's, on, he's involved in it too at the Pisces lunar eclipse on the 16th. So you are a major player here. You've been a major player all year, even though some of you don't want that. You know, you want the planets to just leave me alone. I can hear it. And I don't blame you. You know, this has not been an easy energy for any of us. And especially you are the star. And then I hear it also from the Pisces and the uh, Sagis and the Geminis too. So you're not alone. The other mutable signs have to deal with this craziness as well. And, you know, it's important to really look at, you know, frenemies. You know, the seventh house is the house of open enemies. It's also the house of marriage. I think that's hilarious that the house of marriage is also the house of open enemies. The twelfth house is the house of hidden enemies. And so we can have open enemies, people we know we're in direct opposition with. And then we can have people that we think are our on our team, but are really um, not. And that's where you call it hidden. And so this is an opportunity for you to look at, you know, <clears throat> what is really serving you and what is no longer serving you. It is time to clean house. It is time to really clean, you know, do, uh, this is a cosmic cleansing that's happening for all of us. Not only do we have the eclipses and Mercury retrograde, but it's also the equinox. Mercury moves direct on the 22nd and then the Sun enters Libra right after that on the 22nd and you have happy fall in the northern hemisphere, happy spring in the southern hemisphere. Equinoxes are power days just like the solstices. They shift the seasons, they shift the energies and we get cosmic downloads. And so the eclipses are cleansing us so that we can receive the new light that's coming in on the uh, shift into Libra and this is good news and so the green light is on the 22nd on so the first three weeks you're doing house cleaning you're really reevaluating everything in your life where you are who you're with what you're doing what you're doing for work how is that serving you if it's not serving you what else can you be doing and then by the 22nd on, you start to have these huge breakthroughs. And that doesn't mean you can't have a breakthrough on the eclipse, because you can. Or the full moon, because you can. If you're owning your power and you're loving you more than the need to keep anybody in your life, if you're loving you more, then you're doing your work. And you could have amazing breakthroughs and really see the shift in the energy. Then as we move into... Libra, it starts to increase your wealth. You see, the more you love you, the more your wealth increases. The more you love you, that's the message here. The more you love you, the more your wealth expands. Because Jupiter going into Libra, you know, he goes into Libra on the 9th, but I don't think any of us are really going to notice that until we get to the 22nd, because the eclipses are just cleaning house with everybody. And so... By the 22nd, you're going to start to see your prosperity grow, your wealth grow, your value, how you value you increase. And Venus enters Scorpio on the 23rd, and Pluto goes direct on the 26th. That's another green light from the universe. So now Saturn is direct. He went direct August 13th. Mercury is direct. He goes direct on the 22nd. Mars is flying forward, Venus is flying forward, Pluto is now flying forward. Pluto is training you. Pluto's working for you. So Pluto is giving you power to recreate yourself, to stand for yourself, to own your power, to be confident. Mercury's got a lot of muscle too. And Mercury and Pluto are training, and they're training from September 10th uh, through October 1st. However, because of the eclipses, we may not really feel that trine. However, it will be extremely noticeable for you the 22nd on. I love Mercury trine Pluto 
because that gives you the insight and the understanding to see the deception <clears throat> or anything that's going on that isn't above board with you, that isn't in your highest good or for you. And then Pluto gives you and Mercury together the strategies you need to implement in your life so that you are creating greater wealth, you are with people that love you, and you're growing and expressing yourself in new ways, positive ways. This is about your empowerment. Pluto and Capricorn, and now Mars goes into Capricorn on the 27th. <clears throat> this is really good because Capricorn is your sister sign and it trines positive energy flow with any planets you have in Virgo, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Mercury. And so with Pluto in Capricorn and now Mars in Capricorn and Mercury direct, this is all about your power. So it's like the universe is saying, Virgo, look at what you're doing. Look at what you're doing with this person. Look at what you're doing in this situation. Own your power. Where is the pain coming from? This is Chiron at the Pisces moon. You know, we can have physical pain. We can have emotional pain. We can have pain in our heart, right? Heal that pain. Love you more because I have so much to give you. This is the universe talking to you. This is your higher power talking to you. I have so much to give you. I want to make your dreams come true. And we can do that together if you're listening, if you're making right choices, if you're doing what's right for you, if you're loving you more than the need to keep anyone or anything in your life. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be a situation. It can be a job. It can be anything you're tolerating and putting up with that's not serving you. These eclipses are going to shift that and they're going to really bring it to conscious awareness. And that's the opportunity to make the changes. And when you do that, prosperity comes your way, opportunities come your way, and everything starts to open for you. Now the Libra new moon on the 30th is phenomenal. This is a fantastic new moon. The sun and the moon are coupled together with Jupiter in Libra. And they are sextile. Saturn and Sagittarius. So this is all about your money increasing, your prosperity increasing. And this is the beginning of that. And this is going to go on until 10-10-2017 when Jupiter then enters Scorpio. Now Scorpio sextiles you, so it still continues to be good for you. However, with Jupiter in this area, Jupiter is going to increase your wealth over this next 12 months. And it's starting right now. It's starting in September. And it's starting at the Libra New Moon. So if you do your homework, get your house in order, the first three weeks of September, you begin to see the reward of what you've been moving through all of this time that Neptune's been in Pisces, Saturn's been in Sagittarius. The reward is coming in here for you. So this is a really important time to look at what's working, what's not working. And it can be diet, it can be lifestyle, it can be um, how you appreciate yourself, how you're taking care of yourself. It can be in the area of work, it can be in the area of relationships, it can be all of the above. And any steps that you take that are loving on you, that sends the message to the universe that you're ready for people to give to you. You're ready to receive. When you're judging you or criticizing you or not taking care of you, that is sending a, a, another message to the universe that you're not ready to receive. And you really do want to take advantage of Jupiter now in Libra in the, in the money, in the prosperity, in what you love and value. And absorb the um, love that's coming your way. So Pluto's going direct on the 26th, Mars enters that area on the 27th, and then the Libra new moon is giving you a big hit in the money belt 
at the end of the month going into October and that's gonna last for a year so you have a year of expansion in your money your wealth your abundance and it's all about what you're ready to receive and loving you more than the need for uh, certain people in your life or situations it's time to do the house cleaning it's time to replace service with taking care of you making sure you're getting your needs met and by doing that this will be the time to really um, move forward in your life in a way that totally serves you and is loving you and building that new foundation don't forget Saturn is in that area of foundation and this is a really important time it isn't a sexy time but it's an important time right because the stronger we are on the inside the more we can achieve Saturn will not be back in Sagittarius for another 29 30 years so this is really important what he's doing with you because he is eliminating fake relationships he is eliminating relationships that aren't part of your new foundation don't forget eclipses you're not going to get another eclipse for another 19 years you see so you're completing really big cycles here and this is all about this new foundation you're building pulling up your soul power nourishing and nurturing you loving you more than the need to please others loving you more than the need to be of service being of service to you taking care of you building that strong foundation the stronger the foundation the stronger you are and the more you can achieve what you want in the next 30 years and the more you can achieve and attain what you want the rest of this year and into next year because the shi the shift is coming and now it's going to be on the Leos and the Aquarians with the eclipses and the nodes and that's going to give you an opportunity to focus on your prosperity your abundance what you love and value and attracting good people into your life that are good to you and you deserve it you you so deserve it so with Mars moving into the area of true love and romance you know after the 22nd is a good time to meet someone new meet someone who's good to you meet someone who's right for you before the 22nd you may be you know talking with someone from your past that you're not complete with that may have hurt you and now is an opportunity for them to apologize to make it right with you and you may for some of you you may be experiencing that this month where people from your past come back to apologize to rec they recognize that um, they didn't handle things right or they weren't completely honest with you and that they're sorry and that they they um, apologize and so you know you're available for that you're available to receive and so let them so that could also be a scenario that plays out with some of you where uh, someone from your past or people from your past return to make amends and make it right with you and that's always good too and if you're in a solid relationship it may be a bit rocky here these first few weeks given the eclipses of mercury retrograde however you know communication is the key ask for what you want and need ask for what you want and need and this could be a new pattern for you too is asking for what you want and need not just being available not just giving not just going along what others are offering but asking for what you want and need first it's about learning to receive right? and really being generous with you do nice things for you by doing nice things for you you're setting up a platform paradigm of receiving receiving from others receiving from the world I'm ready to receive the opportunities that are mine that's your new mantra <laughs> I'm ready to receive the abundance that is mine I'm ready to receive the love that is mine I'm ready to receive new opportunities and you are 
money looks fantastic it is going to just be fantastic with Jupiter now in Libra expanding your wealth over this next year career you know the focus is really on you at this time it's not that the career isn't going on it's all about you and how you're taking care of you and how you're loving you and what you're doing for you that's where the focus is I'm not seeing any challenges to the health spiritually you are so deeply spiritual and know that whatever experiences are coming in for you they are for your highest good they are about the importance of self-love self-appreciation and letting go of any criticism you have of yourself let that go now no more time for that you've always done the best you could with what you know tuning in now to see if there's anything else from source that you need to know at this time it's been really challenging for you it's been rocky there are better days ahead there are better days ahead coming for you and when you look back at this time you'll know why you had to go through it you'll know why you had to experience these energies these are valuable lessons for you it's important for you to get your ship in order your house in order very important tie up loose ends tie up the loose ends get your house in order you're moving forward you're moving into a new life you're reincarnating without changing bodies but you're reincarnating right now and that's why it's so dramatic for some of you because you're growing so fast it hurts and the universe knows and they know what a hero you are for going through this experience they know what a hero you are for being willing to experience such rapid growth in such a short time span the opportunities are there for you opportunities will be there for you trust trust in yourself trust in higher power you can do it happy birthday